Yes. In this initial discussion, class sample is given. In that class sample, int num1 is equal to 100 and static int num2 is equal to 200. So num1 without static, uh, sorry, without static keyword, num1 without static keyword is an instance member. And num2 with static keyword is a static variable or class variable as we know. Now what do we say when we look at this class or especially when we look at num1 and num2? We say that num1 is an instance member which will be allocated memory when object gets created. Num1 will be allocated memory only when object gets created. Only after object is created, num1 will be allocated in memory. And what do we say about num2? We say that num2 will be allocated in memory as soon as class gets loaded. Num2 will be allocated in memory as soon as class gets loaded. That is even before a single object is created. Okay. Now this is true because both num1 and num2 are int and int comes in the primitive category. Int comes in the primitive category. But have a look at this code. Have a look at this code. Class A, class B. Class A, class B. Then class sample. Inside class sample, A, OB1 is equal Hello. to A. Hello? Hello. Class A, class B, class sample, inside class sample, A, OB1 is equal to new A, and static B, OB2 is equal to new B. Now, comparative study between two code snippets. Here, we have primitives inside class. Here, we have primitives inside class and here we have reference types inside the class. Here we have primitives inside the class and here we have reference types in the in the class. We are creating object of A and B. Now because of that difference, primitive and reference type, because of that difference, our language changes. Our language changes. When we have primitives in the class, what language we use is num1 will be allocated memory. Num1 will be allocated memory only when object gets created. And num2 will be allocated memory as soon as class gets loaded. That is even before single object gets created. But the moment we have reference types in the class, our language changes. What do we say? Class A will be loaded only after first object of sample gets created. Class A will be loaded only after first object of sample gets created. And here we say class B will be loaded immediately after class sample gets loaded because it is static. Because it is static. So in this case, class A will be loaded only after first object of sample gets created. And since this is static, we will say class B will be loaded as soon as sample class gets loaded. So this thing where we say class A will be loaded only after samples first object gets created is called as lazy resolution. And this statement class B will be loaded immediately after class sample gets loaded, we call it as eager resolution. Here we don't say that A will be allocated memory only after sample will sample object gets created. Even though conceptually that is true, but we don't use that language. We are not supposed to use that language. We are supposed to say class A will be loaded only after samples first object get created. And here we are not going to say B will get memory or B will be allocated memory as soon as sample class gets loaded. No. We are not supposed to use that language. We are supposed to use the language that class B will be loaded as soon as class sample gets loaded. 
So eager resolution and lazy resolution. Have a look at that. Read. <laughs> 